But I'm not seeing anybody searching on the beach. Yeah, there is or nobody searching. No, I haven't seen anybody searching either. That's why I was surprised you didn't like say, I was thinking there'd be like flyers. What we're hearing does not sound like Taylor um, and we need more information. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany and I'm wanting to shine some light on a story about a young woman named Taylor Casey. The story is very strange, bizarre. And the reason why is because Taylor Casey, who's 41 years old, she's from Chicago. She went missing on June 19th. Taylor was in the Bahamas at a yoga retreat on Paradise Island. This retreat is very popular for tourists and it's been previously praised by actress Gwyneth Paltrow. So this is not just some ordinary, regular drive-by retreat. It's well known. There has been absolutely no leads yet as to where Taylor is. She was last seen at the Ashram Yoga Retreat, and a full investigation is taking place right now. A correspondent for News Nation traveled to the Bahamas to get some more details on the disappearance and it's horrifying to know that there are no flyers, no cameras, no witnesses, and the retreat employees were more concerned about the negative tension in their place of business than finding where Taylor was. Witnesses said that there has been no active searches that she is aware of. The retreat reached out to the family of Casey just to let them know that she didn't show up for her class. That's how her family found out. Taylor Casey's niece says that her cell phone was pinged from the Find My iPhone and it was found in the bottom of the ocean. Now, there's a lot of questions with that, like who found it in the bottom of the ocean? How did it get there? Taylor's family is traveling to the Bahamas to join in on the search for Taylor. Her mom also said that Tuesday, Taylor sent her pictures of the ocean and said that she missed her and said she was having so much fun. What's also very eerie is that there was a national advisory for tourists for this particular area for increased crime. Now, this seems like a common thing happening for many travelers all over. Nancy Ying was another woman who traveled for a yoga retreat. They didn't report her missing until 24 hours later. But Taylor's family says that this is not usual behavior for her. So there is definitely some foul play involved. Now, do you all remember Natalie Holloway back in 2005? She went on a senior trip with her friends and there was actually no substantial leads until years later. It took so many resources for the search, but two decades later almost, there was a confession from Evander Slew, the person who pled guilty and confessed. So let's hope we can get boots on the ground for Taylor the same way, the same urgency as a lot of these other missing individuals. Please share this video so that the word can spread. This is just another very sad story and just a warning anybody that's traveling whether you're female or male always have someone with you just for instances like this although her niece did say she wasn't by herself she traveled with another group of people but she was staying in the room by herself so unfortunately no one knows her exact move but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video so the word can get out bye for now